What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here with another Madden 21 roster update. Got a lot of players going up and as usual a lot of players going down that we're all going to get mad at. So make sure in the comments below you let me know who's getting disrespected, who's getting dropped that shouldn't be, and who's not getting boosted up that needs to be. Now as always if you want to be up to date on all the latest Madden news, especially the next gen news that hopefully should be dropping any day now as the game is less than a month away, make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of these important uploads when they go live now yesterday madden also had a really big update they fixed a lot of the issues with the game however uh, it looks like they've messed up the servers again and a lot of people are struggling to get back online so it's typical with ea it's like you do some good and then you do some bad uh, I, you know some people are online a lot of people are saying they can't get online so i'm not sure you know somehow some way they found a way to mess something up again but if you want to know what happened and everything that was covered in the update yesterday make sure to click the link below in the pinned comment as i go through everything you guys need to know about the latest update so first we're going to go over the blog that ea put out about who's going up and who's going down and then of course we're going to cover the entire list of players that are moving so first person they want to touch on is dk metcalf who's just been tearing it up this year it said this dude is a different kind of human dk metcalf is a physical marvel he's huge he's fast he's strong and he's arguably playing like the best wide receiver in the nfl right now it helps that his qb russell wilson has the ability to drop the most beautiful passes in the bucket you've ever seen the combination of these two is seriously a sight to behold and there was no shortage of awesomeness in week eight it's not even funny anymore metcalf posted a 12 catch 161 yard two touchdown line on sunday against the 49ers just blowing up the stat sheet the Madden ratings adjusters are bumping his overall up one to an 85 and he could honestly push a 90 by the end of the year if he keeps this up and I think he will I've been saying it since the beginning of the year this is a guy that's going to go up all year he's clearly the real deal and you know not before long will probably be in that top five wide receiver talk the next guy they're talking about is T Higgins the rookie for the Bengals he's going up one to a 75 it says here the rookie receiver has been a consistent producer in the Bengals offense this season he actually led his team in receiving yards in week eight with six receptions for 78 yards on nine targets but his insane toe tap grab he made caught the eye of the Madden ratings adjusters team so he's going up one to a 75 he's looked pretty good this year I have to say and then the next person they're going to talk about is Keenan Allen also you know always a consistent great receiver he's going up one to a 93 it's says here Keenan Allen might be one of the most underrated receivers in the NFL he's almost always going into beast mode and in week eight was no different he posted a nine catch 61 yard one touchdown line on Sunday on his 11 targets this following his 10 catch 125 yard outing in week seven He's heating up as rookie QB Justin Herbert gets more reps in the NFL level and the production is flowing for both players. The Madden ratings adjusters are bumping Allen's awareness rating this week, which in turn boosts his overall up to a 93. So he's not really going to play any better because we know awareness doesn't do anything, but it does boost his overall up. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Look, most of you here... Y'all already know how much I love Manscaped and their Perfect Package Essentials Kit. And with Christmas right around the corner, if you haven't tried this out yet, it makes for the perfect gift. Especially if your girl doesn't know what to get you, right? She's trying to figure out what to get you for Christmas. Tell her you want the perfect tools for your family jewels. You want the new Lawn Mower 3.0 Waterproof Body Trimmer that has skin safe technology. So that when you're cleaning up down there, before y'all get to the business you won't get those nicks, snags, and cuts. And then with the Perfect Package Essentials Kit, you get a slew of other products like Crop Preserver, Crop Reviver to keep it clean and fresh down there all day long. Now make sure you tell her to go to manscaped.com slash Eric20 to get 20% off instantly applied at checkout. Your balls will thank you. Now let's go over the players that EA is dropping this week that they wanted to touch on. And the first is Marquise Hollywood Brown. He's going down one to an 80. Still one of the fastest receivers in the game though. And you know in Madden speed kills. So not really going to affect him too much. But it says here the second year receiver is supposed to be the Ravens number one wideout. But he saw just two targets and made one catch a touchdown in week eight against the Steelers. He's simply not getting looks in the passing game with just eight targets in the last two outings. As a result, Marquise Brown will see his overall decline this week. With a 97 speed rating, Hollywood Brown is still one of the fastest wide receivers in Madden 21, but until he can put up his talents on display more often, it will be difficult for the Madden Riggs adjuster team to bump him up. 
So basically exactly what I just said, because he's one of the fastest, it really doesn't matter. He's still going to be a problem, in, at least in terms of Madden. And then the next guy they're talking about is Amari Cooper going down one to a 92 overall. And let's be honest, he's going to see a lack of production now that Dak is out. It's not really any secret. The Cowboys don't have any other good quarterback options. It says here, Amari Cooper rating decline is more about the Cowboys having to start a third string QB Ben DiNucci than it is about Cooper's actual talent as a receiver yes exactly so why are you dropping him if it's clearly not his fault anyway still Cooper only caught one pass for five yards in week eight on the five targets he received the Madden ratings adjuster team is bumping down Cooper's overall by one point there's a chance that Cooper rises back up when Andy Dalton returns on the center but we need to see it on the field before we make adjustments in game now let's go over the entire list of people going up and going down. And one of the biggest names this week, without a doubt, no one should be surprised, Dalvin Cook going up plus three to a 95 overall after that crazy game he had last week. In fact, I was going against him in fantasy. I lost because of that. It was a pretty close game, but he just dominated to a point where, you know, I just couldn't overcome it. If he would have just had, if he would have had a normal good day, I would have won pretty easily, but he had an insane day. So Dalvin Cook, definitely one of the best running backs in the league. He deserves that 95 overall with the plus three bump. We have my guy, Alvin Kamara, who has just continued to kill it all year long. A lot of people think Think he's the non quarterback MVP so far this season. He's plus one to a 92 overall. TJ Watt, I mean, we know this guy's been killing it all year, plus one to a 92. I always like to reference how TJ Watt came in so underrated to start the year at 85. Everybody had a problem with it, and I said, I'm like, look. This is not right, but I guarantee you he's going to shoot up quick because it's so obvious he's the real deal. They're going to have to overcorrect it, and they've done it. TJ Watt has almost moved up on almost every single week of the roster update. So now he's at a 92, more so in the range where he should have maybe been to start the year. Now we have Eric Kendricks going up plus one to a 90. Darius Leonard plus one to an 88. We have Jesse Bates, the third, plus one to an 87. Really talented young safety there. I like that he's getting that love in the ratings. Uh, we have Shaquille Barrett, plus one to an 86. Brian Burns, second year guy, plus one to an 85. He is, you know, he dominated last year and he's dominating this year. Definitely a good young player. We have Bryce Callahan, plus one to an 83. Mike Williams, plus one to an 83. My guy, Clyde Edwards, he's layer. Tearing it up, rookie running back, plus one to an 82. We have Jimmy Smith, uh, plus one to an 82. Olivier Vernon, plus one to an 82. Corey Davis, plus one to an 81. Danny Shelton, plus one to an 81. TJ Hawkinson, plus one to an 81. Um, Curtis Samuel here, plus one to an 80. Deion Dawkins, plus one to an 80 as well. Grover Stewart, plus three, getting a nice bump here to an 80 overall. Marcus Davenport, plus one to an 80, and Joe Burrow, plus one to a 79. Now let's talk about those guys that are going down. This is where a lot of us get mad, and Lamar Jackson for the second week in a row is going down. He's gone down a lot this year. He's minus one to a 91 overall. He came in at a 94 to start the year. He's dropped at least two or three times so far. Not a lot of people are liking it, but he hasn't really been having the dominant of a year that he had last year. He just hasn't been, it isn't on par with what he did last year. He's still really good, but I can kind of see why he's going down a little bit, but I would expect him to turn it around at some point and start, you know, putting up those crazy games that he was doing all last year when he won MVP. We've got Darren Waller going down one to a 90. This guy's gone up pretty much all year. This is like the first time that he's dropping. Uh, Kenny Clark down one to an 89 overall. Ryan Tannehill actually comes down one to an 87 overall. Now, remember last week when they did the midseason roster update, he was one of the big like highlights of that. I believe he went up five overall points to an 88. He had a huge jump. But if you look at his last two years, he's been playing really good football. But now they kind of... You know, he didn't, I guess, have the greatest week last week. I don't really remember how their game turned out. I know they lost, but he goes down 1 to 87. So I guess now a little little correction going on there. We got James Bradbury down 1 to an 86. He's been moving up all year. This is the first time that I think they dropped him as well. AJ Bouye down 1 to an 86. We got D Ford down 1 to an 84. Jarvis Landry is also down 1 to an 84. Joe Thune also down 1 to an 84. We got AJ Green. He's just, he's only dropped all year. It's just been consistently week in and week out. He keeps dropping. He's down one now to an 82 overall. Avery Williamson recently traded down one to an 82 overall. Jamel Dean is down one to an 82 overall as well. 
Orlando Brown Jr. also down one to an 82 overall. Then we have Michael Brockers here down one to an 81 overall. The veteran Greg Olson down one to an 80 overall. Quan Alexander just recently traded to my Saints. Kind of excited to see what he can do. And he's a former LSU player. However, he is going down one to an 80. He hasn't really been playing though. So I'm not really sure why they're dropping him. But that's what EA does. Uh, we have Tevin Coleman down two to an 80 overall. The veteran Adrian Peterson down one to a 79. Carson Wentz is always all year long. He keeps going down. He's going down one yet again to a 78 overall. And Jimmy Garoppolo has also gone down quite a bit this year. He's down two to a 78 overall so that's all for this week's roster update again let me know below who do you think was disrespected who do you think you know isn't getting the love that they deserve let me know all that below as always i will see you guys next time